Hey guys, Joe the Auto Guy here today with another tool review. This one we're doing the new 7 inch M18 Fuel Milwaukee Polisher. This is the first cordless polisher on the market. A uh, couple key points is it does use the XC 5.0 batteries. It comes with two of them and with a one hour quick charger. Comes with a couple different pads. It's all in a, this is a 7 inch polisher, so you get the wool bonnet, a polishing pad, foam polishing pad, and the finishing pad. These pads are all have part numbers on the back of them, so you can't get them replaced from Milwaukee, or there's other detailing outlets you can get it from. But these are all quick hook and loop style polishing pads with that come with the polisher. It does do 0 to 2200 RPM. It does come with the shockwave handle or a nice D handle if you're doing heavy polishing. You get the quick velcro grip, 7 inch pad that hooks to it. Quick release for the pad. If you need to change it out to some a different one. And if you uh, the vent for the motor also has a quick release. Also has a quick release if you get it full of uh, polishing compound, you can take it off and spray it out or wash it off real quick and slide it right back on. It does have a feature to lock the tool or trigger lock. Also comes uh, weighs 6.4 pounds, which is actually lighter uh, than most of your 7 inch polishers. It is, uh, like I said, cordless, which is some people don't like the idea of it, but it, one charge is supposed to do 45 minutes or one full size car with light scratches or anything, just moderate paint, you're just polishing it. If uh, you are doing anything heavier, like I said, it comes with two batteries, so you can have one on the one hour quick charger as you're using the tool, and this one keeps, you know, you keep swapping them out as you go along. And also on the end of the housing, this is a rubberized outer case, so if you do happen to be polishing a tight area, and bump the car or something right with this. It's rubber, so it's not going to harm the paint that you're already polishing. It's on the M18 line, so the, of course this battery goes into a whole multitude of different tools on the Milwaukee line. Oh, it does have a different, like I said, 0 to 2200 RPM, so you can start off. This will probably be a little loud, but we're going to start off in its slowest speed. And you can also just keep increasing it. On low speed. So on the fly you can switch that. Didn't mean to hit the trigger there. Almost did though. <laughs> no, that would be nice. Is that actually like a clicky click function? What? I just want to see quick. Never mind. It's like a light locking. Okay. Yeah. If you accidentally bump that while polishing. It's not a bad review, just was curious. Damn, we're only at five minutes. Probably cut like four minutes out of that. But. <clears throat> okay, so lots of other reviews have put this thing to the test. The battery does last as long as they they say. We'll polish, a, you know, like you said, a light polishing of a car. Today we're going to do something different. I want to see if it has the aggress aggressiveness to actually polish this carbon fiber wing on the Honda Civic. Okay, so this is the carbon fiber wing on the Honda Civic. And you can see it's just kind of trashed, it is faded, and this is supposed to be a nice deep carbon fiber look to it. And it looks dull, and it's not just, clearly see it's not just dirt on top of it. So the first steps what we're going to do is we're going to clay bar it to get all the impurities out, which will actually make it look a little bit better, but it won't last long because it's not going to be polished. So that's what we're going to actually be polishing today, and I'm going to do kind of a half and half look so you can truly see how well this polishes and the steps you need to do to polish this out right. Okay, so I'm going to clay barred half of it because I really want to do the half and half look and show you how well this is actually going to work. So I did spray some lube over there, but the clay bar only went off this half. So you can see putting the pads on are super easy. Just a hook and loop Velcro situation. Well, 
um, for the polishing pad, you just want to do a light amount of polish, a couple dabs across the pad, and just enough to kind of saturate the pad because we're doing a small area. Okay, on a very uh, low setting, we're just going to kind of spread it around and work it in. Okay, and now that it's kind of worked in a little bit, we are getting some kind of throw, so we're not going to go full bore, obviously. But we're going to kick it at about 1,000 RPM, and that should be enough to do carbon fiber. It's not going to be too aggressive, and we don't want to kind of leave a burn mark across it. You can see that the little bit of polishing we did, this uh, the battery beater on the back side actually balances the tool quite well and doesn't have enough power to actually force this out of your hand if you're not paying attention. So it's not just a chintzy little electric motor, this brushless motor actually has the power to really dig in to an aggressive paint polish and go with it. So trying to be not so aggressive on this, but it did actually do the job quite well. So we're going to wipe off the polish, kind of buff it off with a microfiber towel. You can see how nice of a job it really did. Now we switch to the finishing pad, which is the light spreading wax pad. Nothing really aggressive about it, it's just going to spread. What we're doing, I'm using sealant to make sure this has a top coat to be UV protected. Okay, so now we got the sealant. You always spread the sealant on a very low setting. Spread it across. The tool is uh, actually, like I said, 6.4 pounds lighter than your average polisher. And for spreading the sealant, you don't need to use a lot of effort. You're just kind of moving it across the paint. So I'm going to show you how easy, one handed, I can just wipe it across this whole way. And just that easy. 
Okay, so you've seen the, the M18 7 inch variable Milwaukee polisher in action. It's very easy to use, lighter weight than the corded ones, easier to use one handed if you have to, and with the different pads, and it is aggressive enough to cut when you need it to. This is a bona fide replacement for a 7 inch polisher with the two batteries. You never have to worry, as long as you have one charging, you never have to worry about running out of power with this thing. And the best part about it is it's really well balanced with the battery hanging off the back. A lot of people think it's going to be really weighted this way. It actually keeps the tool balanced so that when it does bite, you actually have more control over it. And not having a cord over your shoulder the whole time, worried about not hitting the car. It's probably about the greatest advantage of this tool. So, hope you like the review. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And we'll see you next time.